Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for my absolutely amazing Taurus subscribers. I just want to thank you quickly for all my new subscribers and for my old subscribers who keep on coming back and showing me your love and support. It truly means the world. Um, because of all your love and support I want to do a little giveaway for you guys and I'm doing a giveaway and I'm giving away the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. This is one of my favourite tarots at the moment. I absolutely love it. You get a book inside that tells you about each of the cards so you can then tarot too. I'm also giving away a little hamper um, to go with it, a tarot hamper that's got some incense, crystals, um, my Sawyer aromatherapy candles that I really started getting into um, and I'm also doing a reading to go with the giveaway too so if you want to enter into that all you have to do is like comment share and subscribe and then comment done down below um, once you've done that so I can obviously get in touch with you to tell you if you want or not um, yeah so let's get started I've just shuffled all these cards so it's not too bad. This is for Taurus, for Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Or if you're a cross watcher and interested in Taurus, then cross watchers are welcome too. My lovely Earth signs. resonates towards you and leave what doesn't. You know where to flip the stories, you know your story more than I do. So I'm going to take what resonates towards you. <coughs> My voice changed then. One more time, they just told me. I hope you're all doing well. And grounding and protecting yourself, looking after yourself and loving yourself. Can I have guided messages for my Taurus subscribers, please? Guided messages for my Taurus subscribers, please. Guided messages. Wow, okay. Okay. So. Wow, okay. Wow, perfect. Thank you. So I see this straight away as you've either got somebody in your life that is is absolutely loving you, looking after you, um, I feel like you and this person have gone down a road together, I feel like you're really like looking after each other and if this person isn't in your life this person is going to come into your life but I feel like you're going from strength to strength with this person I feel like you're doing a lot of things around the home a lot of gardening together I feel like you're working on your house and home together. There's some sort of burden in your life. I don't think it's to do with this love interest. I'm not connecting it to this love interest. Tower. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not connecting it to this um, love interest. I feel like your burden is around a legal situation. 
and you're kind of in that energy of being left out to the cold because you don't know what's going on. It's like you are like everything's all up in the air because you're going through this legal legal decision I just got told about money 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 that's owed to you I'm being told it's it's been a really big burden on you for if not years I'd say it's, it's more than 12 months anyway more than 12 months and my mouth's just gone really dry I feel like this this situation really got you down for a long time and you really had to pull yourself away from the situation you had to walk away from how much this is impacting your life it was this legal situation was a time where it was really affecting your life mentally physically you know there was a lot of sleepless nights but i feel like the wheel is, is changing for you i feel like the universe sees how much of an incredible person you are and they see how how much you've really worked on getting rid of all your burdens I feel like you, you're walking up this hill and you're chugging away all your burdens and you're getting rid of them all because you just want to concentrate on your your love life, your, your stability. And I feel like you're going down this new path, leaving all these burdens behind. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I feel... I feel like you're leaving all your burdens behind. You're walking away, you're burning them at the tower. You're gonna walk up this hill to the tower. You're happy to go to this tower. You can't wait to go to this tower because you can't wait to chuck all these bloody burdens on it. You're like, great, I'm fed up of feeling stressed. I'm fed up of feeling like everything's on top of me. I'm fed up of not knowing where my abundance is coming in. Great, let's start this new life. I want to walk down this new path. I can't wait to walk down this new path. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where it's going to lead. But I know I've got the love of my love interest. I know they're going to support me and look after me. I've got the support of my family behind me. So I'm going. I'm packing all my stuff and I'm going to walk down this new road. Because I'm happy to. And good things are gonna come. Right, in bed, darling, in bed. I feel like major abundance is coming towards you. I put all the dogs with me. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go, but bear with. Yeah, I feel like you, you've you overcome some major things and you're standing in your strength and you're starting a new life. I feel like you are a bit fragile. This person's kind of like, oh, I've got an egg. I really need to be careful with it. Lucky lie down. That was a bit mean. Your mum was lying on that chair, weren't she? She was comfortable on there. But you just chucked her off. I know you love Nanny. I love you too, darling. I love you too. But Mummy was on that chair, wasn't she? I know. Sorry, guys. The, um, the dog that was on there before, Molly, that's her mum. But she's the daughter. I'm her Nanny. She's a little bit of a rascal, she is. Right. Yeah, I do feel like you're... Being a bit careful with your cutting them off. Being a bit careful with your heart. Being a bit careful. Um, trusting in situations because of what you've gone through. But I do feel like you have all the tools, guys. You have all the tools to get everything done. You all comfy? You all sorted now? 
Okay. Sorry guys. The dogs are sorted, the dog's comfy. That's what that banging was. Was Molly getting comfortable? She's gone to the other chair. Because <laughs> Lucky's taken that one. Right. I feel, if you haven't started this already, okay, I feel with family, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity that's going to come. I'm not going to ask how your love interest feels. I think you know how your love interest feels about you. They're here for you. They love you. They have got your best interests at heart. So I'm not going to elaborate on how your love interest feels because I feel like I'm speaking to somebody who's already in a relationship. You already have somebody in your life. So I'm sorry if you're looking to get in new. Um, well, no, this could be new as well. This could be new. Yeah, this could be new. Sorry, I take that back. This could be new. You're going down a new path with somebody. This could be new. Okay, then. Yeah, because I've got these pentacles. Somebody, okay. Yeah, so I feel like I'm speaking to two different people. On one side, I've got somebody that's in a relationship with somebody that you're content where you are. And then on the other side, I feel like somebody is is coming in. Because I can't, I can't, I just got told off because I was not telling you the right thing. I'm just going to elaborate. Because I feel like somebody, you're going to go into business with your family. Or you've got a business that your family are um, going to get involved with that's going to be very abundant the ten of wands the ten of swords ten 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 okay that's really good guys so I've got ten 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 here I've got three tens wow okay So I've got the Ten of Wands again. I feel like for a while with your work, you didn't know what you were going to do with it. And it was a bit of a burden because it was very stressful. Your work was very stressful and you didn't know whether to carry on with it. But I feel mm. like your family's going to come together and they're going to work with you on this. No, no, we don't bark at house. No, we don't. It's only Gethin. Gethin, come back. Yeah, I feel like your family's going to work with you on your job and it's going to be majorly abundant. Uh, the universe is um, going to shower you with good karma, um, abundance in your love life, in your pentacles, your money, um, abundant in all areas. I don't think you're going to have to worry about money for that much longer. Can I have love messages? For my Taurus, please. Thank you. So it was this one first. Beware of what you are protecting, for the quality you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Twin flame. This is Twin Flame. What well, I've literally, you need to go and watch the Capricorn reading. I've literally just been told, you need, even if you haven't got Capricorn, your sun, moon or rising, that was a Twin Flame. I've literally just got chills and everything I read for Capricorn, I'm feeling for you right now. So the Capricorn, and reason I just uploaded the watch because I think you're gonna resonate towards that passion. It might, uh, it's exactly the same card. It's exactly the same card. Capricorn had this passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I think this is a continuation of the Capricorn reading because you're both air signs at the end of the day transformation they had that as well I'm sure they did 
I'm sure they did. That's weird. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Yes. Yes. New beginnings. Yeah, they, they had this. What? I got a funny feeling that your love interest, Taurus, has got Capricorn in their like rising or some moon signs. Like I feel like there's Capricorn there. I, I feel it so strong. New beginnings, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah, that's uh, definitely passion right there. Sexual union. Honour the place in one another where you are one internally, in one internal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Wow. Wow. I'm like so mind blown right now. I have had so many problems with your reading, guys like so many problems and I've been so upset that I haven't been able to finish this reading because it was the first one was different to this and now it looks like you you and the Capricorn reading are engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment thank you I just wanted them to confirm that keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations I just wanted to confirm and they've confirmed it. Right, come on. Looks like we are back. The wheels are turning. We're going to lost this is so you guys, you and your love interest are mi mirroring each other so much. That's crazy. Uh one more. I want one more. No, too, too much. That one was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. No. No. Cut. Thought so. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Right, come together. Theories like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. And that's what you two are gonna do. You're gonna come together. Your bond's gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. And you're gonna go up against the world together. Lost and found. What was once lost is, is oh my God, is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found theory, Sometimes she can help us find things we never realised were lost. It's, uh, it's really freaking me out how similar now I'm realising how much similar the Capricorn and this region are. It's just literally going down a different road. It's like this is the next stage. Or Capricorn was the next stage. It's just mind blown. Life energy. The happy theory of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and bring bring and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Yes. If you feel like something is niggling you, something you're holding back with something I just got told then it's so important to sort that now before you go into this relationship that's what they do that's what Capricorn had was crown chakra and um, yeah it's so important just one card please to heal that now before you go into your Okay, um, before you go into, shh, 
shut up. Did you just see that? That was there. The Nine of Cups. I'm done with, I'm so done with this reading. This reading is really freaking me out, guys. This is really freaking me out. Like there's so many things that have gone wrong that have not gone right, that have the camera's gone off so many times, like Mercury retrograde is like I'm gonna mess with your life. <laughs> and now that card peering from nowhere, the nine of cups, major abundance major fulfillment this is somebody you're going to spend the rest of your days with and grow all together have children together have grandchildren together like amazing crown chakra just like capricorn right okay just read they're telling me off now because they're telling me to read in connection i recognize that i recognize the inter i seriously am struggling to I recognize the interconnectedness of all life. I honor my connection to all that is. I embody the universal love. I am worthy of God's unconditional love. I am open to new connections and possibilities. I explore the gift of consciousness. I am always connected crown chakra connection that this is blowing my mind blowing my mind crown chakra again i am blessed to be part of the one i honor and cherish my brothers and sisters past present and future yes who journey with me the difference and the polarity are not a treat, but an alternative view and experience. I embrace the shared experience of myself and others as external beings. We are one. Heart chakra, ease and grace. Love is gentle, powerful presence that radiates through me. When I quieten and deepen, it is safe for me to be gentle and graceful. I follow my heart's desires and take pleasant path of least resistance. It is easy for me to be gentle and graceful. I connect to the rhythms of the earth and the universe. I flow gently and easily. Ease and grace. It's beautiful, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. They're pulling their energy back now. Hold yourself in high regard. You're amazing. You're beautiful, you're abundant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated in some way or another um, and gave you guidance. Thank you for my new subscribers um, and my old subscribers who keep on coming back and giving me love and support. It truly means the world to me, guys. I, I got so emotional yesterday, Saturday and Sunday, because my subscribers and my views just went through the roof, literally through the roof. I had a little cry and got a bit overwhelmed um, but it, it truly does mean the world and thank you so much I am so grateful for every single one of you who's been reaching out to me and talking to me and showing me any type of love and support it does mean the world I love this channel and this channel has done wonders for me it really really has um, if you know my journey then you know where I've come from and where I am now May love and light guide you on your incredible spiritual journey. I see you next time, lovelies. Bye.